Hey everyone, Dexville here. We're coming at you with a video on some farming tips and tricks for gearing up for Beyond Light. Now with this farm, you can farm a bunch of glimmer using the artifact here. So grab one of these ones that gives you glimmer for getting kills with a specific weapon type and then equip that on the item. In addition to this, because it's the Halloween event still and there's one more league left, uh, one more week left on that, you'll be able to actually farm out more items from the goodie bags that old Eva drops for you. So where this works is we're gonna be working on the moon. We're gonna go to the lectern here. And we're going to grab the essence of fear. Now this one is just for getting hive kills on the moon. It says 100, it's not 100, trust me on this. And it's gonna give you a chest piece. Now if you don't have the phantasmal cores saved up, you can use your phantasmal fragments to buy them if you have any of those left over. If not, you can do a bit of a sink in order to get some of the phantasmal cores by buying the phantasmal fragments with helium filaments. It's not really worth it to go see Spider and buy a bunch of helium from him and then sink it in that way because you actually and then end up taking a loss based on the amount you actually get when you delete these armor items. So if you have them saved up, cool. If not, doing the altars, which is what we're going to do to in order to make this work, is going to give you a lot of phantasmal fragments while you're farming this as well. So while farming this, you're going to get a ton of umbral engrams. You're also going to get prime engrams. I've had a few exotics drop during this as well. The whole idea is just to load into Soros Harbor and jump in on whatever tier of altar is going on. Personally, because I was also farming for some grenade kills and a whole bunch of altar finishes. There's a triumph for getting 500 altars. I was looking for tiers one, two, and at the max I would go would be around tier three. So jumping in there, if there's a lot of people around the tier threes, I would hang out and do that one as well. If there was only one person or two, I would just reload and go in for another one. As you can see, just by jumping into that last section of the tier one, it actually pretty much did 50% of the completion on that. So we're just gonna go and wait here for the next altar to spawn in. What's good about this is you can multitask quite a bit. You can get a lot of things done. And because the Halloween event is still on, I'm also gaining candy, which like I said before, you can use for engrams as well. Another thing you can do is if you are doing this in a team, you can leapfrog back to the lectern to grab another essence of fear and then come back if you're doing this in a larger group in order just to continue through, let's say if you're farming the final boss for any weapons, more phantasmal fragments from that chest, or the ghost that drops from that encounter. You can also do trolls as well, loading in those, like the kill-alls or the other ones are also going to drop you a bunch more of the Halloween event candies and stuff like that, so you can go and do those as well. I wasn't doing them here, I was running this solo, so I was just looking for the two. As you can see prior to that, I did complete the essence, so we're just going to finish this off here, kill these last nightmares, and then go back to the lecture. After the Halloween event's done, this is still going to be a pretty viable way if you've got a lot of Phantasmal Fragments just kicking around, to just go and farm a bunch of loot like Umbrals and any other materials you might actually need from dropping out of these encounters. In addition, if you need cores, what you can do, enhancement cores, is pop your finest matter weave during those encounters as well. So we're going to come back in here. We're going to hand this in for the Dreambane robes. We're going to pick up another one, and then we're going to delete the Dreambane robes we just got. And what that's going to give us is it's going to give us some gunsmith materials, shards, and that is what we're farming, is those, the gunsmith materials and the shards. So you can see I did get a prime angle from that and an arm rolling gram. In addition to that, finest matter weave, like I was talking about earlier, we're going to pop that so that we can get an enhancement core while we're farming this out. Back into Soros Harbor, and that is the loop.
So here we've loaded back in. We drive up. Get into these events as soon as possible. That way you don't miss out in case they are on two or even three out of four for the final boss. For the bosses here, the right here. What we're gonna do is just jump in and start killing stuff. There's an enhancement course, so what I did is I go back into my inventory and pop another finest matter reef right away. This way if I can, I can get another one to drop pretty quickly afterwards. Now while the Halloween event is on, you will be getting the Chocolate Strange Coins, which you need for the Eva goodie bags, as well as candy. You're going to get a lot more candy than you will the Chocolate Strange Coins. But in addition to that, you're also going to get the keys required for you to open the chests during the Haunted Forest. Now once you get enough of those, I would say go when you have 5, 10, or 15, and just go farm those out and get a bunch of materials again that way, including your shards, because you can delete anything you get from that that you're not actually going to keep from those final chests. And those are just something free you get, you know, for that 15 minutes you spend in the forest itself. So here I do grab one of the public or the uh, patrol missions. And we go back to just farming out these altars. Like I said, as you're doing these, you're going to get Phantasmal Fragments. You see I got one there drop. And completing that is getting us right there, the Cypher Decoders, so we can actually take those into the forest and hand them in. And we finish the Essence during this one as well. You can see this is actually fairly quick on how to go and farm out some materials. Relatively easy, as long as you do have some of those Phantasmal Fragments going around. If not, just farming this normally for uh, Umbrals, Exotics, as you can see there or even primes, is still going to get you enough Phantasmal Fragments to go and purchase the Essence of Fear after a few runs. If you have a coordinated team, you could just run through all the way through the boss every single run if you do have a team that wants to go and farm these out this way. And then, like I said at the beginning, just leapfrog back and forth to the lectern to grab yourself a new essence if you're going to farm that. Oh, almost went to the wrong location. Let's go down here to the sanctuary and we're going to hand in this lectern again. There you have it. That's another loop completed. So in addition to this, while we're getting our glimmer and we're farming all of our other materials as well, there is a few different rewards you can use for sinking in your glimmer. And I'll show you some of those ways you can actually earn a little bit more rewards based on what you have kind of lying around in your inventory. We're actually going to head to the tower here. So back in the tower, some of the rewards you can actually get and then sink in to acquire more shards and everything. Take your candy. Exotic engrams, like I said, they do drop from those encounters. There's a few there sitting in my postmaster. We'll go see Eva here. She does have the purple gift bags. Don't do the blue ones. The purple ones are just fine. And by handing those in, you can get legendary engrams, cores, umbrals, gear that you can delete for more shards as well. In addition to that, any prime engrams you're not going to be keeping, you can delete as well. Umbral engrams, a few things you can do with those. Umbral engrams do have a chance to turn into an exotic if you leave them unfocused and hand them in. But personally, there's a few weapons I'm still trying to uh, acquire better rolls of, so I focus them, and if I don't, I delete them, and then there's chances of them actually giving you enhancement cores as well.
In addition to just getting the weapons you get from those, you'll also get shaders. Those being removed and deleted will also turn into shards as well. So you can see where a lot of the gains are coming from shards here is just all the materials you're getting from completing those altar events. Now, two things you can do with all of the leftover glimmer and shards you're going to be getting. You can bank ships or sparrows for Beyond Light. So I'm using the other side sparrow and I'm grabbing this for 7,500 glimmer and five legendary shards. When I delete that, I'm going to get 5,000 glimmer back and I believe about half. So two to three of the shards back on those. In addition, you can take any extra glimmer you have, go to season one and buy any three or more white or sorry blue transmat effects now once you have those transmat effects you can actually run down over to amanda holiday pan those in and she's on uh, her second page and you will be able to sync those into a purple transmat effect and what that's going to do is then you can then delete it and you'll get another shard from that thank you guys for watching this video i hope you guys get something out of this farming video and can go and grab yourself some of those precious materials before beyond light hits if you guys have enjoyed the content please remember to smash the living shit out of the like button subscribe for future content come check us out live at twitch.tv slash and we'll see you guys in the next one